independent thoughts, independent life. This is Chad Benson. We're just in Act One of this. Act Two is when uh, the hospitals start to get jammed, Mika. When our, we see our the lack of supplies. healthcare professionals don't have the supplies they need to keep them safe, then they go down. And the possibility, the very real possibility, that this is the reality we seem to be facing. If healthcare professionals don't have the the safety supplies they need, then our healthcare professionals go down, and then suddenly an overtaxed emergency room and mm-hmm. an overtaxed hospital and overtaxed healthcare system collapses fear media stop it i'm embarrassed by the way that 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 some of this has been handled i am this is huge chad yeah this is a big event an event that will pass but this has caused a collapse in our economy a global collapse in economies And the fear that is around this is causing insanity and overreaction. Well, Chad, it's not overreacting. No, no. There are three states and about 10 to 12 counties which have basically 90% of this. Other states are locking down. Well, they're being smart. Fear. Talking to producer Anthony last night, California. They've shut everything down. Nothing exists anymore. California shut completely down. At the end of the day, we're one body. There's a mutuality and there's a recognition of our interdependence that requires of this moment that we direct a statewide order for people to stay at home. Statewide order, stay at home. Okay, why is that? As a nation state, 40 million strong, uh, we've been organized around an attack rate, as we refer to it, of about 56 percent, that the virus uh, will impact about 56 percent of us. You do the math in the state of California, that's a particularly large number. Yeah. 27 to 30 million people within the next eight weeks. (gasps) Breathe. Relax. Big words, fear, lots of stuff, media flying around. Oh, my God, we don't have enough. There's never going to be enough. There's never going to be enough. I talked to two hospitals yesterday out here in Phoenix. Pretty big city, right? Fifth largest city in America. How are you guys handling it? Fine. You have supplies? We got supplies. You guys overwhelmed? We're overwhelmed a lot. Most of the people we're testing, though, are, you know, are, they're negative and they have the flu. And we we deal with it. Oh. Oh. Called in the National Guard yesterday. Why? We have 48 cases, maybe 50. How many do we really have? Don't know. Well, we're going to be just like Italy. No, we're not. Top-heavy nation? Elderly people that smoke? Who already have underlying conditions? They interview doctors because this is overwhelming. It's coming to your neighborhood. Then you talk them off the air and they're like, oh, let me tell you something. We are completely ill-prepared for this. (laughs) We have a top-heavy nation. We don't have a lot of medical, right? Anyway, so this is this is what it is. We're not going to be that. If by Monday we've got a say mid you know twenties ish rate, and a week from today we're only sitting around hundred to one hundred and fifty thousand, I think we can go. All right, it's good. Social distancing, smart, right? It's smart. But also being smart is to, because what I'm seeing is Americans freak out to the point of losing their minds, buying everything except for butternut squash. That's the funny thing. (laughs) Producer Anthony says, he continues to go back to this target. And he says, the only thing that seems to be there from the canned goods is this butternut squash. And there's like two of them. And they've been there for weeks because apparently nobody wants butternut squash. But we need to take a deep breath. We will survive this. But if we don't get our head on straight, what we're going to come out to on the other side, because we will survive, is going to be a disaster that will take years and years to fix financially and economically. That's the reality of what we're facing. We need to get a grip. The media needs to start playing its part by informing, not scaring. 323-538-2423, at Chad Benson Show, is your Twitter. 
Feel free to tweet at me. Yesterday, Trump had his press conference and uh, hydroxychloroquine. Everybody's talking. We've talked about it like three, four days ago. We were like, we're super ahead of this. I just want to say that. Not for rarely in my head, but we were ahead on this thing. And, you know, Trump called it a game changer. Could it be a game changer? Might it be? Ga- it's it's a drug that's been around. Uh, Pla- uh, Plaquenil is what they call it. Here's like the, the, the name, you know, uh, that they give it. So what it is, is a drug that has very little side effects. Been around since the 50s. Uh, it's already FDA approved for malaria and rheumatoid arthritis, and they have been using it. Everybody's focused on a vaccine. Let that happen over the next year or two. That'll sort itself out. Right? What we need is a treatment that slows it down at such a pace that you know if you get it, you prescribe this and this, it, and off we go. Right? That's what we need. Like we do when you people go out and they get Z packs or antibiotic. They they need a treatment. Treatment first, vaccine later. Too often we're focusing on the vaccine. The vaccine isn't coming tomorrow. What can we do to stem the tide today? FDA will fast track antiviral treatments for patients with coronavirus, uh, saying that an anti-malarial drug made available, and he said um, the drug would be made available almost immediately. How much confidence should we put in that? There is a drug, two drugs. They're, they're very similar. Chloroquine, hydroxychloroquine. They've been used for decades for malaria, as well as for the treatment of certain autoimmune diseases like lupus. It's a very mm-hmm. inexpensive drug. It's been around for a long time. Yeah. Fast track it. Let's see it. If these are the desperate times that it has become, and I and I say this, and I'll say this right now, we were gut punched on 9-11. This has the potential to be so much bigger and levels that we could not believe. We need to get a handle on this in so many ways, and that includes first and foremost with ourselves by taking a deep breath and realizing even if you've got it and there's no treatment for it, 99% of people, 98.2% of people, are going to survive. And 80% of those will have such minimal case of it that you won't even know you really had it. So, yeah, if these are as desperate as people say they are, then we throw everything against the wall. And that includes fast-tracking this and seeing how it plays out. Not waiting three to six months and testing it in the lab and seeing what... No, you know what? You fast track it. You get it out there into the people's hands. This, along with an uh, uh, an antibiotic, a certain kind, seems to essentially start to eliminate the virus. And it speeds up the process of those who are, who are really ill. We're not talking about somebody who had it, fought it, didn't even know they had it, thought it was a cold or a little bit of the flu. We're talking about people that are already really, really sick. There's been anecdotal, non-proven anecdotal data that it works. When people give it to someone, it makes them better. But when you have an uncontrolled trial, you can never dis- definitively say that it works. What the president was saying is that we're going to look at all of these drugs and we're going to try to get them available in the context of some sort of a protocol. You may make it more accessible than you would have previously, but you do it in the context yeah. to at least get some feel for both safety and whether it works. And again, the safety side of it is very little side effects, right? And that's just it. And if you give it to 500 people that are really sick and 500 people survive it and they've got it, 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 we're always looking for a controlled environment. Guess what? As we can tell now, there is no controlled environment, right? And even then, when you look at controlled environments and all of these things, not everything is equal. Everybody's DNA is different. Everybody's metabolism is different. Everybody's genes are different. If these are as desperate, I mean, sometimes I look at this and I said yesterday, you know what it reminds me of? You're down by five points. You 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 got the ball on the 50-yard line. It's the last play of the game. And instead of that Hail Mary with Aaron Rodgers, which we should be throwing, you're going to do uh, a handoff. No, no. Desperate times, desperate measures. Let's do the things we need to do and let's stop focusing on the vaccine and focus on what can we do to get people better, to get America and everybody else back to work so we don't put ourselves in an economic pandemic 
that will take a generation to climb out of. Today, there are no proven safe and effective therapies for the coronavirus. Okay. That doesn't mean that we're not going to do everything we can to make things that have even a hint of efficacy more readily available. But there's no magic drug out there right okay. now. Yeah. And if there's a magic drug and this turns out to be it, then, you know, we've got it. We figure out how to take this thing on. And nobody's worse for the wear if it's not. 323-538-2423. At Chad Benson Show is your Twitter Feel free to tweet at me. You can text the program as well. Hope you're doing well. Lots of stuff. But, you know, we're not going to focus on the negative. I'm over that. The reality is, is we're going to get through this. We got through World War II. We got through World War I, right? We've been through Korea and the Cold War. We've been through a depression, a Great Recession. We've been through a civil war. We will get through this. It's getting through it with grit, determination, and a bit of a smile on our face coming out the other side and being better for it, better prepared, and then leading the rest of the world out of it. That's what we need to do. The hyper-focus of we have nothing, we don't have anything, everything's going to hell in a handbasket, stop it. I'm ashamed of some of my friends who are, who are in the media, and I'm watching them, and I'm like, dude, you guys are insane. The crap. But you're battling for eyeballs. Right now, we've captive audiences. We do. So guess what? People are trying to grab everything they can. And fear sells better than good. 323-538-2423. At Chad Benson Show is your Twitter. Feel free to tweet at me. Wireless world. Man, we're living in it now. And especially for a lot of you who are going to be at home for the coming weeks and potentially months. You got earbuds and they're not very good. Go to Raycon. Newest model. It's amazing. E25 earbuds. Best ones yet. Six hours of playtime. Seamless Bluetooth pairing. More bass. More compact design. Gives you what? Great, nice, noise isolating fit. It is awesome. And I've been telling people, the people say, well, why are you selling these in a time? I said, let me tell you something. Good majority of Americans are going to be working. They're going to be working from home. The kids are going to be running around, right? Their earbuds suck. Life is going to be abnormal, but still somewhat normal. They want to listen to their tunes. They're going to be working out. They're going to be doing stuff. That's why you need something like this. Especially when you're sitting there and you're trying to have a conversation. Ray Conzerit, nice noise isolating fit. Six hours of that playtime will go a long way. Trust me, it is awesome. Plus, they're half the price of any of these other ones that are out there. No wires, no dangling stems, and I'm going to save you 15% right now. Go to buyraycon.com slash Chad. Buyraycon.com slash Chad. Buyraycon.com slash Chad. Chad Benson Show. If you're part of the politically exhausted majority, don't fear. Your time to be validated and rejuvenated is here. Wake up. It's the Chad Benson Show. Well, those of us who live here in California are being told we do need to stay home. There are exceptions. You can go buy food or get dinner to go from a restaurant. You can get outside and exercise as long as you're not in a big group and you're away from other people. They want people to stay home but not to become isolated because then there's a bigger mental health issue. Which is something that's not being talked about. The after effect of this, and I'm going to continue to tell this, we're positive, we're fact-based. If the world's going to go to hell in a handbasket, I will tell you, we're, go- we're going to hell in a handbasket. We're watching. Don't sit around and watch this stuff 24-7. Don't look. And it's hard because pe- you're inundated. You can't even turn on the, you know, you can't flick on the Internet, you know, at home and, and go to Google Chrome or whatever Firefox where you have turn on TV without something being infected. That's why watching anything but is great. Workout. I will tell you guys this now. Working out is so necessary. You're you're overweight. You haven't worked out in years. Now's your chance. Get outside and take a walk. Cuz the endorphins change everything. You feel that, you feel better. We're going to be stress eating. I saw that right now. The stress eating side of things is crazy. Breathe. Right? Now's the time to check your life for a second and say, "All right, 
what do I need to do to be better prepared for life in general? Given this opportunity, grab it. Grab a hold of it. Right? Well, Chad, I'm going to be stuck at home. A lot of people are. There's no jobs. No, a lot of people are losing their jobs. A lot of people are hiring because in a time of need, there are going to be things that people need. Just take a deep breath, right? This is a moment in time. It's a big moment. But we're going to come out the other end. So take advantage of this opportunity to work out a little bit more, run a little bit more. Social isolation doesn't mean isolation from everything and everybody. Quarantine and isolation are, are different. So, so you know, isolation is you're in a room, you're isolated from everybody. Quarantine is I better stay inside because I've been exposed to it. And while I may not have it, I, I just want to make sure that, that we're good, right? Social distancing is I'm going to go have, you know, I'm going to go to my buddy's house and have a bite to eat. I'm going to go for a walk with my wife or my husband. or the, But we're not going to be in big groups. And we need to remember that. Take the time, right? Read a book. Watch something that's not. Watch something. And by the way, don't watch anything serious. I'm telling you guys right now, watch stuff that's mindless, that's funny, that's your guilty pleasure. I don't care what it is. If it's friends, if it's the office, if it's family guy, for me it's gun smoke and old, awful 1960s and 70s martial arts movies made by the Shaw Brothers. Ooh, I eat those up every day. It's watching the Avengers of Shaolin. Oh, everybody's got a British accent. Right? It's interesting to watch. Take a deep breath. We're going to get through this together. 323-538-2423 at Chad Benson Show is your Twitter. Feel free to tweet at me. You can text the program as well. Trump's always talking about the China virus. Is he kind of right? We'll talk about that straight ahead. Chad Benson Show. Chad Benson Show. Independent thoughts, independent life. This is Chad Benson. As far as as far as uh, believing what they're putting out now, I hope it's true. Who knows? But I hope it's true. That was Trump yesterday talking about China. China. I hope it's true. China. Yeah. China. When this thing first started, I continued to say they're not telling us everything. They're not giving us real numbers. They're not telling us anything that we probably need to know. Oh, somebody said to me, you know, a couple weeks ago when I was saying that, oh, you're a racist. No, no, we're honest. Let me tell you about China. If this thing was that bad and the world wouldn't know, they would have lit that place up in Wuhan and moved on. Tell you why. They don't care. At the end of the day, and we're not talking about the Chinese people, we're talking about the Chinese government, the commies, those people, the people that are authoritarian, whose main goal is to what? To rule the world. They have a plan, and that plan is to dominate everything. Period. Case closed. End of story. Now is our time to say screw it. I have a buddy who's an MP, member of parliament, he's kind of like a congressman, senator, said... Everybody's applauding Trump for saying what needs to be said. We're too dependent on them. We love our cheap goods. We do. We love our cheap goods. Well, guess what? It's time we start looking elsewhere to manufacture stuff. Whether it's here, right across the way, Mexico, 
in Central America and elsewhere. It's time to start looking at things in a much different way. Yeah, I don't believe a word that they're saying. And I didn't. When the numbers come out, it could be ten times that. What I do know is they're starting to get back to some normalcy, and the rest of the world is struggling. If we had known about this a number of months earlier, it could have been contained to that one area in China where it started. And certainly uh, the world is paying a big price for what they did. Yeah. That's not true. Yeah. You know what they're doing? They're sending respirators and everything they can to places like Italy and elsewhere. Why? Because they're trying to curry favor. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to curry favor. Do I like the way that Trump acts at time? No. Do I understand? Yes. Do you think China cares about the well-being of the rest of the world? No. I do not. I do not think that. I think you're smart enough to realize, yeah, you're probably right. Even if... They found a magical cure. What do you think would happen? China would figure out a way to make sure that everybody in in their country has it. That's great. Fantastic. And then it may be a long time before eventually it got out to us so they could put themselves in another advantage. This has nothing to do with the Chinese people. If you think that, you're an idiot and a moron. This is about their government and the Communist Party, and where they would love to go, which is dominate the world. They have made that apparent and everybody out there aware of what their goal is. So, in some ways, yeah, Trump is right. The way he's handled things at times? No. But I understand that. Right? I understand that. You think Italy understands that? Yes. Right? You think the rest of Europe, as they're bracing for this thing, to see exactly what it will or won't be? Because we don't know what it's eventually going to end up doing. But one thing we do know is it will potentially take us several months to several years to climb out of a hole financially, economically. And if you think that doesn't matter, It does if you're a small business owner or if you're a person that just got laid off. 2.5 million unemployment claims, highest ever, last week alone. This little gift that McConnell and everybody's going to roll out in the coming weeks is going to be little relief. It is not ongoing. It is not forever. So, yeah, we better figure this out sooner rather than later. And I think at some point in time in the next two weeks to a month, we're going to realize, all right, we're going to overcome this faster and we better get back to work because this isn't just about today. It's about the health of people and it's about the health of an economy and it's also about the health of a future that China would love to dominate. I don't think they created in a lab anywhere and released it to the world. I don't think any of that crap. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I don't buy into any of that crap. But what I do think is they played a game because think about the way that they've treated doctors and people who've tried to warn the world about this thing. Magically disappeared. They died. They've shamed them. They've arrested them. So remember who you're dealing with. 323-538-2423. At Chad Benson Show is your Twitter Feel free to tweet at me. You can text the program as well. Love hearing from every single one of you. Every once in a while, we just need to breathe. It's a prison sentence. It's a short prison sentence. And as they say, as the convicts say, you can do the time or the time can do you. And I figure you should do the time, meaning go out, build a tree house with your son and daughter, cook lasagna with your wife. Don't let the time do you. Don't end up with a face tattoo and a toilet filled with prison wine. You go out and use this little (laughs) snapshot in life to live your life. Adam Carolla, that's what we're saying. Have fun with it, right? That's why I say you're at home, man. You're you're sitting around and 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 you know you're 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 overweight and you really have never thought about working out and you you're going to be on unemployment for a while and you're hoping this check helps out a little bit. You know what? Drop twenty thirty pounds. Get outside. Take up something new. 
right? Learn something new. Listen to what the people are saying. Don't give up hope. And take advantage. Find a new hobby. Didn't know I liked the quilt. Didn't know I liked to whittle. Right? Didn't know I liked the game. Didn't know I li- Find something else. In your life, when has change really been bad big picture? You know, the girlfriend that dumped you, the boyfriend that dumped you, the boss that fired you. But when you look back after a couple of years, immediately it's bad. Like right now it's bad. In a month it might still be bad. But in two years, I think you look at these little changes in life is a good thing. That's the time you learn to play Stratego with your nine-year-old son. Whatever it is, philosophically, change is always good, even negative change is is good with time. Absolutely. Kroll is spot on there. It's That is so true, right? And especially in a time when you can be uncomfortable, right? Because a lot of people now are, are sitting around and they've been laid off. And I'm here to tell you, take advantage of it. Well, how can I take advantage of it? Well, first and foremost, say to yourself, what industry was I in that I could be so easily displaced? What can I do in the future to make sure that that doesn't happen again. How can I better myself? I've been there, right? I was a broker and owned a company after 9-11. It's ugly. Paying people, knowing you're not going to eat, sleeping in my office for months because I had anywhere to go. want to make sure that people are taken care of. And I've turned from more business owners to doing everything possible to do all they can to make sure their employees are taken care of. And that's great. But you got to take advantage of this. It's, it, it, let's look at where, what can I do to A, help, and B, if this is the situation I'm in. It's not changing, right, at this moment in time. So what can I do to take advantage of this opportunity? What can I do to take advantage of this opportunity? Doesn't matter what it is. Teach yourself a new language. Go for a walk. See a bird. Do something. Learn a new hobby. And also, smile, laugh, and breathe. This is a time just to reflect, literally just some quiet time. It's like forced meditation for those of us without a yogi. Yeah, I don't have a yogi. I do not have a yogi. Not that I shouldn't have a yogi. Maybe we all should. People ask me, what are you doing? I'm working out. By the way, in between breaks here and stuff, I go for a walk, right? And I've also got armband things in here. And, you know... Several times a day, I'll do that, do some push-ups. And then in between all my shows and stuff, if time permits where I don't have show meetings and other things as we go through this, I head straight over to the park. 30 minutes, I run around, kick a soccer ball. Feel so much better. It's just time to say to yourselves, what can we do to take advantage of what's being placed in front of us? Because crying about it's not going to change. Getting angry about it's not going to change. Finding a happy place. First thing I do in the morning, I come in. I get in here extra early. Why? Because I want some positive stuff. So what I do, I go to YouTube. Find some stuff that makes me laugh. Right? Jimmy Carr, comedian, hilarious. Nate Bergazzi, comedian, hilarious. Or I'll watch some of Colin Cowherd, sports guy, from yesterday's show. Why? Takes my mind off stuff. I'd rather talk about Tom Brady at this moment in time. So these are things that we need to look to do. But you understand that with these freedoms come responsibility of doing all you can that they're asking you to do, but also realizing how am I going to be set up when this thing comes out the other side? What can I do? And that's what we need to be doing as well. Absolutely. We're all, the, the one thing that we all know, though, is we're all going through this together. It's not like... You're the only one. And I think when we start to realize that, that, you know, you're not going to be homeless. Landlords, the government stepping in at this moment in time, especially if they're telling you not to go to work, you're not going to have to worry about those things. Making sure you're taking your, uh, you know, taking care of yourself. Oh, you may have to make it up, you know, and the other things, and that's fine. But right now, you're living at this moment. So if this is what it's given you, find out what you can take from it. 323-538-2423, 323-538-2423, at Chad Benson Show is your Twitter. You can tweet at me. You can text the program as well. Love hearing from all of you. I do. Right? Smile. It's going to be good. 
It is, remember, jobs. Oh, Chad, there's no jobs. There's jobs. Walmart announced it will hire an additional 150,000 new workers through the end of May to work in their stores, their distribution centers. Its hourly full-time workers will get $300 cash bonuses. Its part-time employees will receive $150 bonuses because they are working through this crisis. Yeah, that's a helper, right? You say, all right, well, this is what I'm going to do because this is what needs to be done. What about Amazon? Jay Carney, former uh, White House press secretary. Tell us, just for anyone watching who wants one of these jobs, how they can apply and how quickly you're going to onboard them. They can apply. There are existing uh, methods and portals now to apply for jobs in all of our uh, fulfillment centers. As you know, we've been uh, hiring quite a lot uh, in general, and we're now opening 100,000 new uh, positions across the country. Yeah, Amazon, 100,000 jobs, right? 100,000 jobs that are opening right now, Walmart, grocery stores, where there is a situation where things are being taken, there's also an opportunity where there's going to be needs, and those needs need to be fulfilled. 323-538-2423, at Chad Benson shows your Twitter. Feel free to tweet at me and text the program as well. Right now, you're looking around, you probably got a ton of credit card debt, you're paying way too much on it. Stop that right now. Let's figure out how we can save you some money, get rid of all that stress out there. Credit card consolidation loan. It's easy to lower your interest rate, save with Lightstream, credit card consolidation loan. You can get a rate as low as 5.95% APR with auto pay. Every dollar will help in the coming weeks and months. And my friends at Lightstream are here to help. $5,000 to $100,000 loans, right? No fees whatsoever. You can even get your money as early as the same day you apply. It's simple and it's easy to apply. And just for going to this Right here, what I'm going to give you, we're going to give you a special interest rate discount just for my listeners. Lightstream.com slash Benson. L-I-G-H-T-S-T-R-E-M dot com slash Benson. I had a friend do it a couple weeks ago. She said it was easy. She did it right from her phone. Uh, she got what she needed in about 48 hours. It's a good time right now to get rid of a lot of those credit cards and, and bring down that interest rate and save yourself because every dollar will help again, in the coming weeks and months. Subject to credit approval rate includes 0.50% auto pay discount. Terms and conditions apply. Offer subject to change without notice. Visit lightstream.com slash Benson for more information. Chad Benson Show. Don't let the Washington Beltway strangle you. This is where the exhausted majority comes to refuel, realign, and reevaluate. This is Chad Benson. No new movies opening wide this weekend, and most movie theaters across the country are shut down. But today is the day Universal is making some of its current releases available to stream. There's been a killing spree. you got to come here right now. The Hunt and The Invisible Man, along with Focus Features' Emma, can be watched at home for 20 bucks a pop. There are people out there worth saving. A Quiet Place 2 was supposed to open today, but that's been postponed indefinitely. Yeah, so what else is opening up? Well, Birds of Prey will be available on the 24th, so that is Tuesday. Bloodshot, which just opened last week, will be also open uh, for purchase on the 24th. Visible Man, The Way Back, a lot of them. And I think movie theaters are going to start to make serious decisions. April 10th, Trolls, World Tour. Trolls was a huge movie. They've said, screw it, we're going to release it digitally. Forgo a theatrical release altogether, April 10th. Frozen 2. Disney's made it available now. Star Wars. The Rise of Skywalker is ahead of schedule as well. So, ready for purchase already. So, I mean, you've got a lot of stuff that's rolling out. And I think over the next week or two, that is going to be more and more the case. Uh, Because at some point in time, you've got to make a serious decision if you're an entertainment company about what you're going to do. Because you can't just have 50 movies. Let's just say we get back to some normalcy say in August, right? You know, we start to come out of it in June and July, but we're back to full what we were as far as everything open and people going about their business. You can't roll stuff out September, October, November because it's so crowded at that point in time. 
So I think some are going to make some serious decisions in the next coming weeks, which is, you know what, they've talked about it for years, right? They've talked about it for years since streaming came along. When is somebody going to say, you know what, we're going to start showing first run movies at home? Theaters aren't going anywhere. I love the theater experience. I do. I absolutely love the theater experience. So I will never give that up. But there are times, and with my schedule, man, if you put a movie out that I really, really want to see, I'm going to see it. And for me, it's great because most of the movies I like, eh, you know, like The Hunt. I'm probably going to rent that this weekend. That's that movie where it's like the deplorables versus the liberal elite, and it's it's very interesting. You know, The Invisible Man, might rent that too. 323-538-2423, at Chad Benson Show is your Twitter. Feel free to tweet at me. You can text the program as well take a deep breath what's going good for you what are you happy about tweet at me text me right what's going good in your life what's the positive side of this making you reflect a little bit more more family time let me know chad benson show this is the chad benson show Independent thoughts, independent life. This is Chad Benson. When you're surging and you're trying to move quickly and you're trying to care for patients, minimizing the impact to the caregivers who are on the front lines 24 hours a day is a big deal. And that's really what we're trying to do. Yeah, that's massive. Chief Executive Officer Officer Chris uh, Kippel from Ventec Life Systems. You're looking around and... Everybody's trying to do their part. You know, as they shutter some of these major manufacturers, they're saying, hey, we'll build these things. You know, we won World War II. We had a sacrifice, right? We all did. We, you know, but not me, but the greatest generation. Not you, unless you lived through it. Everybody sacrificed. They rationed. They did what they had to do. They worked 16, 18 hours a day nonstop. They gave up a lot of their comforts to make sure. Germany knew they were done because they knew that America was rolling out B-52s like they roll out cars. That America was rolling out battleships like they roll out cars. They were like, we're going to do this. This is what we have to do. We were rolling out things. We came together. Ford, everybody's saying, hey, we got these places. We're going to shut these manufacturing down for a time being. If you need us, put us to work. If you need us, let's convert and we can make ventilators. If you need us, let's do that. Those things can be done. What I hear, though, is we're going to run out of supplies in the next week or two. It's over. We're going to run out of supplies. And I'm like, are we not making more supplies? I'm just curious. Is there no supplies being made? No, there is. I have news for you. (laughs) You would run out of supplies if you didn't get more supplies. Are there going to be places that there's going to be a crunch? Yes, there is. There are going to be places where there's going to be a shortage of some medical stuff in this pandemic. There are also going to be other places. And, it, it, you know, three states hit the hardest, 10 to 12 counties really feeling it. I said to producer Anthony earlier, I said, I wouldn't be surprised in four to six weeks when some of these states are going, all right, we've got 150 cases. We don't have 25,000. Maybe we can start sending some of our stuff to them, including our health care workers. That will eventually, I think, happen. That will. Is it now? No, not right now. I think everybody's looking around, deciding for themselves, every single governor, What's the best course of action for their state? And they'll go from there. Gavin Newsom. At the end of the day, we're one body. 
There's a mutuality and there's a recognition of our interdependence that requires of this moment that we direct a statewide order for people to stay at home. There you go. Statewide order to stay at home. What exactly does that mean? That's the interesting part of this. 323-538-2423 at Chad Benson Show is your Twitter. You can tweet at us. As we face this situation where some states are going to be kind of locked down, other states are going to be kind of locked down from a distance, but not really. Life is not normal, but it's not to the point where, you know, you can't go down the street and, you know, if your cell phone's broke, get a new cell phone and Walmart, you can go get Walmart and you can, you know, you want to go get a, a yogurt. We we're talking about that. Like what's going to be closed. What's not going to be closed. What's essential. What's not essential. That's for a lot of people is what people are trying to figure out. Okay, well, what exactly does that mean? Who, who, who can do things? Who can't do things? Don't know. I think what you're going to see is people are going to test it. And that's what I keep telling everybody. What's the breaking point for the average person? Right? What's the breaking point for the average person who says, all right, I've been here two weeks, three weeks. We haven't seen the 500,000 deaths. We haven't seen a billion people. I mean, we. what's your breaking point? And for a lot of people, I say it's, it is two weeks. I say it's two weeks, and then people are going to look around and say, mm, not feeling it right now. I'm not feeling it. I'm not. This shelter at home or stay at home order is not a request, say officials. It is an order. It pertains to pretty much everybody who does not work in critical sectors. Critical sectors right now, obviously doctors, nurses, but also people involved in keeping the infrastructure going. But also groceries, laundromats, cleaners, people like that. So I could take my suit in? But yeah, I mean, that. This is this is what you're going to have. And then, you know, people are going to ask over and over and over again, well, w- w- what's essential? Like, is, well, infrastructure. Okay, I get the infrastructure. But I just, it's, it's essential. It's not essential to you, maybe essential to me. And people are going to start asking those questions, whether it's California, New York, several other places are going to start asking those questions. And the way that we're reacting at times is insane. And part of that is because now, the states and the federal government are in control of everything. They're rolling in across the country. States are rolling in the National Guard. It's time to do your part. Social distancing, yes, absolutely. Closing everything, okay. But also, let's figure out what you can do outside of that to live. And that's what you have to do now. The quarantine life. Kara, what did you say is, 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 how do you pick your quarantine name? Um, it's, uh, oh, I've just forgotten. It's, it's the last thing that you ate is second and how you're feeling right now. Okay. So you were called. I'm fine protein bar. You're fine protein bar. My name is happy El Pollo Loco. <laughs> That's what I had last night. Chicken. Or happy chicken. Happy El Pollo Loco. That sounds like it's my wrestling name, too. Could also be your porn name. I'm just saying. You can still take your kids outside practicing common sense and social distancing. You can still walk your dog. You can still pick up that food at one of our distribution centers. Yeah. Then do that, right? Those are the things you need to start doing. Figuring out, all right, how do I do this? How do I, you know, we touched earlier something that uh, Adam Carolla said about this, which I think is absolutely as real as it gets uh, about what's going on. 
It's a prison sentence. It's a short prison sentence. And as they say, as the convicts say, you can do the time or the time can do you. And I figure you should do the time, meaning go out, build a tree house with your son and daughter, cook lasagna with your wife. Don't let the time do you. Don't end up with a face tattoo and a toilet filled with prison wine. You go out and use this little (laughs) snapshot in life to live your life. And I think that's so spot on. Right. Find the best possible scenario. Most of us that will get sick. And I do think that this thing is going to spread. But you're starting to look at the numbers and the numbers, uh, while they may be big, the reality is, is it's ninety nine point two percent of us are going to survive this. Ninety nine percent of us are going to survive this. And the ones that unfortunately will lose their lives uh And they're showing it more and more in places like Italy. The numbers are so high because the elderly is elderly. 65 with three, four underlying health conditions. If they got the flu, their fate was the same. 72, 75, 85. That's horrible. Absolutely. You don't want anybody to die. But all of them have underlying conditions. I was reading something yesterday. And they were talking about this This guy's the youngest person in Britain to die. And they go through all this thing, and this is why you should watch out for this and how deadly it is for, for all of the young. And then what did they say at the end of it? Oh, by the way, he's had ALS for two years and was on a ventilator anyways. And you're just like, we need to be smart, but let's get through it together. Let's, let's social distance, but not isolate. Right? If you're sick and you've got it for real, isolate yourself. If you think you've come in contact and you may have it, which is pretty much everywhere, kind of quarantine yourself. But social distancing, it's okay, right? You can talk to your neighbor. You can have a glass of wine with your neighbor, right? You can do those things with your neighbor, right? You can go for a walk. You can do those things. Just be smart about it. 323-538-2423, at Chad Benson Show is your Twitter. Feel free to tweet at me and tell uh, what, what, what's good. What's good in your life? That's the thing. I don't think we're looking at this. This is going to pass. right? We're going to get through this big time. We're going to come out the other side big time. And when we do, I think we're going to look up and go, wow. First of all, I think we're going to look up and go, mm, that was a, potentially a lot for nothing. Second thing we're going to look at uh, is we're going to go, you know what? We've got to be better prepared for certain things. And we also have to get out of our own heads in this world of craziness with the media 24-7 and social media driving and saying, remember, I say it every day, I'll say it again. I will say it again. If it bleeds, it leads. If it bleeds, it leads. They want to get your eyeballs. They're competing with one another. And fear is an emotion that is huge. Then you start going down rabbit holes. Don't do that. 323-538-2423. At Chad Benson Show is your Twitter. Rain is my crack, just tweeted, said, I'm thankful for Amazon Fire that my children are grown and out of the house and Trump is president. Right? Another person just tweeted, I'm thankful uh, for the peace that only a relationship with faith in God brings. Good. Another person, Radio Guy 76, financial independence within the last six months. A lot of people are. Are you? I think so, right? What are you thankful for? 323-538-2423. At Chad Benson Show is your Twitter. Stamps.com right now. Look, you want to avoid the coronavirus? Where's the last place you want to be? At the post office. You don't want to be at the post office anyways. But with all of this stuff, now better than ever, as a business owner, as a small business as a person who's saying, you know what, I'm going to start doing these things myself. i got to start doing all this stuff. Stamps.com is incredible. Everything you can do at the U.S. Postal Service, you can do right from your computer. Small office sending invoices, online sellers shipping out products, even a warehouse sending out packages every single day. Stamps.com handles it with ease. Simply use your computer, print out official U.S. postage 24-7, any letter, any package, any class mail, anywhere. What do you do then? Slap it on, give it to your mail carrier, put it in the mailbox, away it goes. It's that simple. Plus, with Stamps.com, you save, save, save. Five cents off every first-class stamp with up to 40% off shipping rates. Not to mention, 
It's a fraction of the cost of those expensive postage meter. Stamps.com, 700,000 businesses. I have a feeling it's going to go to a million businesses because people are smart. They're, they're smart. They're entrepreneurial. And they're going to say, I'm doing some stuff. I'm not going to allow this thing to change me. That's why you need Stamps.com. Right now, for my listeners, get a special offer. This is it. Four weeks trial, right? So four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale without any long-term commitment. Go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, type in Chad. That's stamps.com, enter code Chad, stamps.com, enter code Chad. Chad Benson Show. No fake outrage here, just the real thing. The Chad Benson Show. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off. Now it's time to find out what's trending. What's trending? Yeah, what does that mean? I mean something, right? Like it's trending on the old internet. What's trending? A lot of stuff is trending. Big time. Gen Z is trending because people are saying you guys need to be inside you guys need to not go out i said cut them a slack no 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 i said cut them slack you know when i was young everybody thought most everybody thought you're invincible right you're invincible you didn't know anybody who died right and if you did that was somebody around your age usually it was in a car accident or something like that or suicide you feel like you're bulletproof well, do you see how many of them are, are going to the hospital? Yeah. Do you want to know why? Because their immune, their immune system's so good that it creates way too much of the antibodies to fight, and it's overfighting. It starts to fight with itself. That's what these drugs do. Slows that stuff down. So it's, it's, a, it's a take a deep breath. Get off their cases. Do they need to be smarter? Yes. But I'm not going to sit here and hammer them. For that, I would just tell them, if you're going to go out and you're going to go do things, just realize that the opportunity is to spread to others. I know you're not worried about yourself. Your selfishness comes in. You could be spreading it to others. But I can't get mad at them. I know I won't. I won't. Top of that, we go over to Twitter. What's trending? Lots of stuff. First of all, tax day. For those of you not knowing that tax day has been kicked to July 15th is tax day. Now, so not April 15th, July 15th. That is tax day. So be prepared for summertime tax. <laughs> now, that doesn't mean your, your states are doing that. That's just the federal government. Welcome to Tampa Bay. For those of you who don't know, Tom is Brady. Terrific Tom. Tom, awesome. Heading there. California lockdown. Big time. Trending. 55% of Americans. What's 55% of Americans? What does that mean? Well, there's lots, you know? 55% of Americans trending. Because Trump's approval rating right now in the handling of this is at 55%. And in the time of an election, he could take this himself because, let's be real, we're still going to have an election come November. If he's the wartime president, and gets us through this. It's going to be tough. And if we're if we're in a situation too, and I say this, if we're in a situation where we're starting to recover, we're still going through some of this stuff come November, we're probably not going to change jockeys in the middle of the horse race. Just going to say that. We're probably not going to do that. Because while the economy's getting beat up, Everybody's is, and there's a reason for that. And we know what it is. It has nothing to do with anything other than this virus. 323-538-2423. At Chad Benson Show is your Twitter. It's the Chad Benson Show. The Chad Benson Show. Independent thoughts, independent life. 
This is Chad Benson. We're looking at people with high-risk exposure, so healthcare workers who've been exposed to a known patient with coronavirus or a household contact, so someone in your household that's, that's been diagnosed. So we're looking at high-risk exposures and seeing if we can treat people in the first three days after their exposure to prevent them going on from developing infection and disease. Yeah, that's Dr. David uh, Bulware. Here's the thing. People are looking for what? We're looking for a vaccine. I don't care about a vaccine at this moment in time. Do you? It's going to take 12 months to 18 months. Let's even say it takes nine months, right? Through all odds. That's nine months. What we need is a way to treat it. That's more important than a vaccine. Vaccine, long term. That's macro. Micro is how do I fix it now? In the short term. How do I fix it? Is it the drug that people are talking about that's out there, that's been out there since the 50s? Hydro, uh, hydroxychloroquine or chloroquine? I think it's called Planaquil here. That's its name, right? That's its, like, that's its, man, you got to have, you know, that's, if they're going to merch it, that's what it is. It's a possibility, absolutely. And they've got to look at every single thing. It's a... Malaria drug that also treats rheumatoid arthritis. It's widely available. It's already been FDA approved. It has very minimal side effects. So, you know, this is when you start throwing stuff against the wall and these French doctors and whatnot have been saying, hey, this thing is real. Let's use this. Now, it's not been peer to peer because remember, everything's about peer to peer. At this point in time, It's about, let's see what's available to us right now on these shelves that may help. It's not a cure. It's a treatment. Right? That's the thing. What's the treatment of this? That's the thing. Malaria is a parasite, very different from a virus. But studies from China showed that it did reduce the ability of the coronavirus to enter cells. So the studies show some promise, but I don't know if it's ready for prime time yet. Why not? Well, what, what's the risk if it says minimal, right? Because from what I'm hearing from doctors, they're like already figuring out, well, how do we, you know, can I get it? Some doctors are already saying, well, I've ordered some because if somebody comes in and they're they're at that point where they're not asymptomatic, they actually have it and it's infecting them. How can I give this? And it's not just that. They also have to give you a uh, what they're saying is and the studies have shown you recover, at least in this small sample size, uh, in about five to six days when you take it with this certain antibiotic you recover much, much faster. Much, much faster. In fact, within two to three days, you're in a much better situation, which is what we're looking for. Again, vaccine, nine months at super best. Realistically, probably 12 to 18 months. How we treat it, hmm, how we treat it, well, that's 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 what we should be looking for at this moment in time. 323-538-2423, at Chad Benson Show is your Twitter. Feel free to tweet at me. You can text the program as well. Again, California is all locked down big time. Why? As a nation state, 40 million strong, uh, we've been organized around an attack rate, as we refer to it, of about 56%, that the virus uh, will impact about 56% of us. You do the math in the state of California, that's a particularly large number. Yeah, it is. It absolutely is. It's a huge number. Right? Italy's what, like 60 million people? So you're looking at 40 million in a singular state. The question everybody's asking is, where, where's the money coming from? You're telling non-essential businesses you can't open, right? So you have a shoe store, you're not going to be open. Nobody needs shoes. Right. Well, we need shoes. Uh, You know what I mean. Grocery stores need to stay open. People need food. Pharmacies, obviously. Right. 
places like that, those things need to stay open. You're asking for two weeks, right? Social distancing, a little bit of essentially self-quarantining, meaning you keep a small group of friends. Maybe you guys get together. You figure a way to, to get through this thing. But then you're asking about the money. Well, the battle's going to go on. Uh, the House is on recess for the next couple of days because now it's the Senate's turn to, to roll out a third phase stimulus plan. What does it look like? This is what the Senate GOP plan would be. 250 page bill. Uh, $1,200 per person in one time payment. That would be an additional 500 per child. The payments would be based on income. So individuals making up to $75,000 annually or married. 250 you get 1200 right income is defined as wages social security benefits and any pension income right so if you if you get all those uh and you have $75,000 salary you're going to get 1200 if you make 100 grand you ain't getting anything right like well if you make 75 to 99,000 You'll get something, but it will be gradual. So you might get a thousand from seventy-five to eighty, and it works its way down from there, right? And again, five hundred bucks per child. Trump, thousand dollars per person, five hundred dollars per child, as soon as possible, hoping to get it into people's hands within three to six weeks. Six weeks later, identical would go out if the president still has us in a state of emergency. Democrats, $2,000 per American, followed by subsequent payments stepping down over time. Again, this is all if we get to that point where six weeks from now, we've got 20 million infected and, you know, uh, half a million dead, right? You know, or we're still on super lockdown. And that's still a big if. The numbers I'm looking at, 25,000 by Monday, 100 to 120, 150,000 by next Friday. If we're in that range, we're not talking deaths, we're talking people who are have tested positive and, and who are being treated, uh, not asymptomatic pay, pay, uh, patients, because we, we may be at a situation where we're, we've had a million people already who might have had it. If they're saying that 80% of people who have it show very little or no signs whatsoever and we're at what 14 15 000 cases we could be in that range but we're talking about tested positive been to a testing area to a hospital whatever it is and they're but if we keep it in that range i believe we'll be through the worst of it to the point where we'll be looking at a situation we're going well how are we going to get out of this thing faster start putting people back to work starting allowing businesses to reopen even if it's for a a shorter period of time and gradually get us back there. We will see spikes, though. That's the other thing. We will see spikes. And I have a feeling by next Friday, we'll have more of a concrete idea a week from today. Again, a week from today, we could be chaos. But I just have a feeling, based on who we are, I think a week from the day, and and, and the measures that that we're taking, that we're going to be going, okay, now we've got to start thinking about how we claw ourselves back out of this but there will be times when you see bumps, right? As we start to get back out there again, you'll see bumps in this. And China's going to go through that. I mean, right now they're not having any you know anybody new test positive. Uh, and the eight tests they had yesterday uh, were all people that had traveled from overseas to there. But once they allow people to start moving more freely in certain areas, are we going to see that number go up? Three two three five three eight twenty four twenty three at Chad Benson Show is your Twitter. Feel free to tweet at me. Tax day has been moved to the 15th, the 15th of July. That's for the tax that is the IRS federal. That is not your state. I'm sure most states will probably follow into that kind of situation where they're going to give you a little bit of something, right? Right. Here's my question. How do you know, like, I know they're going to means test people, right? Like when it comes to this money, but it's a weird question is what if you were making, I talked to somebody yesterday 
who had this incredible job. He he came on air with us and he and and uh and he was making like 180 grand a year and he's fired. It took him forever to get to that point and that isn't coming back. Are they going to if you've been let go, does that I mean, how do you prove I mean, that's that's the thing that I think people are going to be grappling with. So, this is it's a fluid situation. It is. It's a fluid situation. The numbers are going to be ugly for the coming weeks and months, but then the numbers will eventually, because I think the foundation is good, and if we cut this off and we do the smart thing, which I think we're doing some of the smart thing, I said some states are are overreacting, uh, but at the end of the day, every state's got to handle itself the way that it needs to handle itself. So when we get to this position in six weeks and we reevaluate it, will we be saying to ourselves, man, that wasn't very good. Look at what we did. Or maybe we're like, well, this is... This is the right thing to do. Or they should have done more. We'll find out. We don't know. What I do know is we're going to get through this. 323-538-2423. At Chad Benson Show is your Twitter. Feel free to tweet at us. Then there's this. Oh, kids, there is this. Working from home can be lonely. It's hard at times during periods where there's a lot of stress in the system. I think that's all the more time to find meaning in what you do. Matt Miller runs Embroker, which connects small and mid-sized businesses with insurance policies. They're based in San Francisco and everyone is working from home. We're trying to do things like digital happy hours <laughs> where everyone gets together and uh, has beers you know, over, over video conference. Yep, you heard right. We have everyone just hop on a large video conference. You can do it without everyone being physically together in person. Cheers to that. Yeah. I've worked from home. I got some antidotes for that. How you get by it. I've worked from home for for a long time. And it can be crazy. I will tell you that right now. We'll talk about that. How people are dealing with that in this situation where they're not used to it. And on top of all of that, you, you add into something that a lot of people who have worked from home for years are getting that they've never had before, which is children. And that changes a lot. 323-538-2423. At Chad Benson shows your Twitter. Car Shield. Right now, more than ever, you're saying to yourself, man, ah. Well, cars are great right now. I'll tell you what. If if you have the means, the opportunity to buy a car, deals that you're never going to see maybe ever again in your lifetime are going to be thrown out to you. Deals. One of the local clients I deal with here, they're offering 0% for 84 months. Let's think about that. But for a lot of people out there, they're like, you know what? I don't know if I'm in that position. Understood? Car Shield. $99 a month. That's what plans start at. They'll protect your car. Something goes wrong, transmission, even the electronics in your car, that's why you have Car Shield as the what if. It's affordable and it's there as the what if scenario. 24 7 roadside assistance, a rental car for free while your car's in the shop. The shop is the shop that you choose, right? So you take it whoever you want. They get them paid directly. You pay a small deductible. Protect yourself. Call Car Shield again. Rates start as low as ninety nine dollars a month. Eight hundred car six thousand. Mention code Benson saves you ten percent. Eight hundred car six thousand. Code Benson save you ten percent. Or CarShield dot com. CarShield dot com. Use that code Benson to save ten percent. A deductible may apply. Chad Benson Show. You go, boy. This isn't about right or left. This is just about right and wrong. Right you are, Chad. The Chad Benson Show. Please stay inside, you guys. Please stay inside. Practice social distancing. Self-quarantine. If you live with your parents, you don't want to go home, get your parents sick. You might have it and not even know and be infecting other people. Um, It's serious. And the only way that we're going to slow this down is if we do this, since there's not a cure right now. Kylie Jenner right there giving advice. And you know what? The Surgeon General's like, we need her because she's an influencer. She can influence some people to be smart. That's what they're about, right? Being influencing. Yeah, why not? Stay inside. But don't really stay inside. And social distancing doesn't mean isolation. Pick up a new hobby. Enjoy a week or two off. You're going to get back to work, I think, sooner than you realize. So... Maybe you say, you know what, this is the time that I'm going to, you know, there's not not a lot you can be able to do about it, right? And it sucks, and it's frustrating. You're worried, but worrying isn't going to change your situation. So then you say to yourself, all right, well, I'm not going to change my situation sitting around. 
so I better figure something out. Work out. Go back to work in two weeks. Go, you lost 10 pounds? Yeah, but working out, right? Try to do something a little bit different. Shake it up. Pick up a hobby. Do some of this. If this thing's going on for six months a year, we're like this. Uh, uh, you know what? You're, you're not going to die. You're going to get through it. It's about mitigation. But I don't think it's going to go on for us. I wouldn't be surprised if six weeks from now, four weeks from now, we're going, all right, well, we, we, we more than weathered that. We're going to be more than all right. We are. We are. Randy Tehran is Project Happiness. It's very interesting. Talking about some of the things, the tips you can do. People are giving all kinds of, you know, tips about things that you can do. Like, hey, do this. Try that. Right? Staying at home. What have I been saying? Learning the language if you're stuck at home. Right? No, don't. And, and everybody will tell you the same. Stay away from the crazy media. The crazy media is 24-hour deluge of everything bad. Let me go to CNN right now, dot com. Let me tell you what's going to be up there. How horrible everything is. How the world's coming to an end and we don't have doctors. Right? There you go. Drudge. Could be 2.5 million people that die in America. This is the new normal. It's not the new normal. That's there to grab your eyeballs. That's there to scare you. What it's not going to do is make you feel better. And when you're working from home, we're talking about it. It's, it's stressful and it's odd, especially if you've never done it. And you can go stir crazy. That's why getting outside is huge, right? And by that, I mean, even if you just go sit outside on your computer, if, you, if you're fortunate enough to work from home, that's a helper, right? Make sure that you go for a walk and talk to people. When I worked from home for years doing voiceovers and doing these things, there would be a day or two where I wouldn't see another human being but me. So let me give you the advice. Make sure while you're social distancing doesn't mean isolation because you will go stir crazy. <laughs> and then you throw in the kids. That's a double thing. And eventually they're going to start asking questions about why can't we do this? Why can't we do that? So you got to figure that out as well. You do. Man, I tell you what, there was times when my ex would come home and I had been working all day and I hadn't seen anybody and she'd done her stuff. She was exhausted. I was like, let's go do something. Let's go do something. I want to go do something. Thank you for being here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And I think you get it now. People are stay at home parents, right? When, when, when your, when your husband or wife comes home, what happens? They've been talking to the little kids all day. What are you doing? Hey, how's it going? They want to have a conversation. You may not want to. So don't get cabin fever. Get outside. Smile a little bit. 323-538-2423. At Chad Benson Show. your Twitter. It's the Chad Benson Show. This is the Chad Benson Show. Independent thoughts, independent life. This is Chad Benson. At the end of the day, we're one body. There's a mutuality and there's a recognition of our interdependence that requires of this moment that we direct a statewide order for people to stay at home. That right there. It's Governor Gavin Newsom telling this populous state, California, you guys are staying at home. Staying at home. The reason is everybody's going to get it. As a nation state, 40 million strong, uh, we've been organized around an attack rate, as we refer to it, of about 56 percent, that the virus uh, will impact about 56 percent of us. You do the math in the state of California, that's a particularly large number. That is a particularly large number. State of California is about roughly 40 million people. So at 56%, you're looking at almost 22 and a half million people that would get it. There's a thing called herd immunity. You don't know what it is? At some point in time, the herd is all infected. They build up antibodies. The virus dies 
because there's nowhere else for the virus to go. One of the things that I've heard a lot of scientists talk about that's not brought up because it sounds callous and, 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 and cold and horrible. But it's herd immunity. Once you get it, the likelihood of you getting it again is virtually nil, at least from all the numbers they're pointing out. So if that's true, then, you know, maybe just maybe herd immunity is not the worst thing ever. Right now, what we're trying to do is slow it down and stop it. But eventually we're going to get back at life and you'll see an uptick again. And then are we going to panic again? And if this is seasonal, are we going to be doing this every nine to ten months? We could not afford that as human beings. We could not afford that as a nation, nor could anybody else. What we need to do is not, as I hear of it, we've got to find a cure. Let's just first and foremost talk about, for a second, what the mortality rate is in this, right? You say that, it's like, ugh. But let's just do facts over figures. Look, we're going to be like, we're not going to be like, Italy. we're not going to be anywhere like Italy. I'm going to tell you that right now, right? Italy's numbers are so top heavy that when you take out the very, very old who also happen to be the ones who have underlying health issues, that number drops below 1%. So think about that for a second. They were ill-prepared for this. They have an antiquated old system. They're also heavy smokers, especially the older generation. And this is a respiratory issue. We're not going to be Italy. I'm just letting you guys know that. So what do we do now? I'm going to tell you guys this. 323-538-2423 at Chad Benson Show is your Twitter. What we do is we look for the here and now while we wait for the vaccine. Could be nine months. Could be six. Reality, 12 to 18 months when we have a vaccine. And even then, it probably won't be 100% proof. We, you know, it's like everybody goes gets the flu shot. And there's still many people who catch the flu. How many times do you hear somebody go, God, I got a flu shot. I still got the flu. Yeah, this is a possibility. Right? H1N1, which remember swine flu, it's still here. What we need is something that we can say, okay, well, you caught it. Even if you didn't get treatment, you're probably going to survive. Because probably about 99% of us will, in some cases, in some countries, 100% of people are. Other countries, it's far worse. We need a treatment. Treatment's going to fix now. Vaccine will fix later. The medicine we're testing is called hydroxychloroquine, so it's related to chloroquine and uh, sort of another formulation of that. And, and so as mentioned, that it has activity in, in a laboratory setting in a, in a cell culture model that um, against the SARS virus and the, and the new novel coronavirus. Yeah. So what does it do? What it's been shown to do is it this with a certain type of antibiotics lessens what takes place and even shortens the duration that you have it. And these are people who, and remember, we're not talking about uh, giving it to people who are, who, who may have it, but they're asymptomatic. They're not showing anything. They're not sick. They're, they're, you know, they, by and large, maybe they got a headache or the sniffles, but they're, they're going to work their way through it. They're building up antibodies naturally, which will be 80% of the people who catch this anyways. So we're talking about people who are already dealing with it and fighting it. That's the issue. And it's been shown that it lessens the, you know, how long it it's in your body. And it really puts a damper on the effect that it does on your body rather quickly. Now, it's got to be tested. 
And by testing it, I think what doctors are going to do at this point in time, because you're hearing doctors across the country saying, let's just try it because that's what we got to do. It's been around since 1955. It has already been FDA approved. It has relatively minor side effects. And if you have rheumatoid arthritis, you may have already taken it. And if you're in other countries where maybe just maybe you could have had a situation where you faced malaria, you may have already had it because that's what it is. But everybody's freaking out. What about Italy? They do have an older population. It might be having something to do with their lifestyle. They tend to go out every day for fresh food, so their exposure might be greater, and their hospitals are overwhelmed. Yeah, their hospitals are overwhelmed. Their exposure's greater. But that's the thing that sells. By meaning sells is sells to you. Get you watching the television, right? 24-7. People going down rabbit holes. My brother is 21 years old, healthy as an ox, minus the fact that he's a ding dong. Can't fix stupid. I love him. God. Up until last year, he's 21, been playing. He, he retired from hockey. He was on his way to, to the NHL, I think. And uh, I think a lot of other people thought that. But after like his sixth concussion, uh, and he wasn't already the sharpest tool, uh, he's going down rabbit holes every day. And I told him, dude, you need to stop going down rabbit holes. You need to play video games. Uh, it, it goes, Chad, I can't even skate anymore because he's a coach now. And and when I said, dude, I know you can't skate. doesn't mean you can't go outside and work out. doesn't mean you can't do other things. But you need to stop going down rabbit holes. Because all that's going on is people are watching negativity. And negativity brings negativity. Negativity brings fear. Fear continues to be an addiction to people because they want to know how many of you have gone out and went to WebMD and you start going down a rabbit hole because you've got a pain in your side, right? Or you got a little bit of headache in a certain thing. And the next thing you know, you think you've got something and then you're down a rabbit hole after a Stop it. Stop it. The best advice I can get to anybody is take a deep breath. Know that you're going to survive this. You're going to get through this and start thinking about what is this going to look like when I come out of it? And how can I hit the ground running as best as possible for my family and myself? Right? Listen to what the experts are saying. If, you know, if they're saying, don't go outside, don't go outside. Right? And by, and by that, I mean, you, you can go outside for a walk. You take dog frogs. They're talking about all those things. But as far as going outside and groups are standing up, they're saying, hey, you know, your best thing is let's not work. Right? Stay home. Do the things. Your lights aren't going to be shut off. Nobody's getting kicked out of their house, right? You know, all those things. Just take a deep breath and realize, okay, at least for now, we're fine. So now, how do I set myself up for some success on the other side? And what can I also do to ease the insanity? Because there's plenty of it, right? There is. And that's the other thing. Good God. Think about all of this stuff that's going on and stuff that's in people's minds and the depression and the therapy people are needing, the anxiety, the anxiety. Don't. At this point in time, I I was sitting there talking to one of my other producers. uh, His name's Pablo. Great dude. On my other show. And uh, yeah, I got shows. Uh, That's how I roll. He said, you know, I came home last night and there's my dog sitting there with a big smile on his face and he wants to go do something. He's just happy as the day is long he doesn't know what's going on and quite frankly he didn't even care right you're home let's have fun i haven't seen anybody all day let's go for a walk can we play catch can i have some dinner i'll hang out with you yeah hell right now if you can you have the opportunity go get yourself a dog if you're alone something like that but we don't have to be alone in this and we're not 323-538-2423, at Chad Benson shows your Twitter. Feel free to tweet at me. You can text the program as well. I love hearing from every single one of you. I do, I do, I do. Many of you out there are saying to yourself, man, how am I going to get through this? Well, A, you're going to get through it. But you're probably thinking, what can I do to save money? Well, you've got credit cards, right? Yeah. And you're paying how much? I'm like 18 to 20%. Well, why don't you do this? Call my friends over at Lightstream right now. Save yourself some money. And you'd be surprised when you start consolidating those loans how much money you save yourself month in and month out. Absolutely. 
It's easy to lower your interest rate and save with Lightstream credit card consolidation loan. Get a rate as low as 5.95% APR with auto pay. You can get a loan from $5,000 to $100,000. It's easy to do. Absolutely no fees whatsoever. And you can even get your money as early as the same day you apply. Just for being my listener, a little special interest rate discount. How do you get it? You go to lightstream.com slash Benson, L-I-G-H-T-S-T-R-E-A-M dot com slash Benson. Subject to credit approval rate includes 0.50% auto pay discount. Terms and conditions apply. Offer subject to change without notice. Visit lightstream.com slash Benson for more information. Chad Benson Show. separation anxiety that's dumb check out chad 24 7 at his website chadbensonshow.com and on itunes free the chad benson show never feel lonely again the secretary of the treasury has indicated it's important for us to be on the senate floor and to pass a measure on monday yeah passion measure on monday that's uh the turtle mitch mcconnell in the GOP, the president, and the Democrats have differing ideas of what money, how much money, how long they'll get it. But it's going to happen. Does it happen? Let's say they do it on Monday. They start processing checks, you know, after Trump signs it. It's probably two, three weeks before people potentially start receiving some funds. And I think that's going to happen, right? I do. I think that's going to happen. Is it going to happen the way that everybody thinks? I I don't know. I mean, I do believe you're probably going to get somewhere in the neighborhood of $1,200 to $2,000. And there's going to be a situation where you're going to be means tested, right? I think the Democrats want to give money across the boards, but the means tested means if you're making over a hundred grand a year and you're still employed, you're not going to be getting a check. Uh, if you make ninety nine to like seventy five grand, you'll be getting a check, but as it goes up, it'll be diminished. And if you're making under seventy five thousand, you'll be getting a check, and there's going to be money for kids, you know. So if you've got two kids, you'll get an extra thousand bucks. If you got ten kids, you're going to get an extra five thousand bucks. So, but what it looks like is, I, I, I don't know. Could not tell you. Because I think there, you've got to remember, there's going to be a battle here, right? So McConnell and everybody, the, the, the Republicans are handling this in the Senate. And the Democrats are pissed, but they did the same thing with the House and the phase one and phase two. This is now phase three, and it's in the Senate, and this is where it's going to start. And so they're doing it on their own before they go and give it to the Democrats. The de- Democrats are also, you know what, I'm telling you guys this, we're, we're, we're mortgaging our future potentially. So be wary of some of the stuff that may be in there. Because it's a great time to put some pork in some places or to ask for certain things. And these things should be clean and simple, but they're not going to be. I mean, the bill already is 250 pages. So we need to be wary. We need to be wary of this just to make sure that, yes, I I would love something simple. Every American gets this for 90 days. And then we go from there. 323-538-2423 at Chad Benson Show is your Twitter. Feel free to tweet at me. You can text the program as well. Love hearing from every single one of you. It's going to be interesting now that everybody's on lockdown, down, 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 down. In places like California, I continue to ask the question, how do we know what essential is? Well, those of us who live here in California are being told we do need to stay home. There are exceptions. You can go buy food or get dinner to go from a restaurant. You can get outside and exercise as long as you're not in a big group and you're away from other people. They want people to stay home, but not to become isolated because then there's a bigger mental health issue. Yeah, and and let me say something, too, about the isolation. Older people are usually isolated anyways, and in a situation like this, because people are terrified, the best thing to potentially do is figure out how you can make sure through any kind of modern technology that you engage, especially if you're neighbors or some people like that, 
because it is so important to be checking on them in the best possible way. But don't be isolated. Don't be alone. Don't and, and you just can't because you're gonna. It's gonna drive you crazy, right? It's gonna drive you crazy. And we are living in a modern world too. So being outside huge. And I'm telling you guys now: exercise, 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 exercise. Until they lock the doors, nail them shut, and have guards outside. If the opportunity is to take the dog for a walk, take it for a walk. Then you go for a walk. Go for a run. Get the endorphins moving. Get the blood pumping through the veins because that dopamine is going to help you so much. And at this time, it's not the worst thing. It isn't. You come out the other end thinking to yourself, man, I've dropped some weight. I'm looking good and I'm feeling good. I'm ready. And if you don't know what's going to happen with this thing, being a little bit healthier is not the worst thing. 323-538-2423. At Chad Benson Show is your Twitter. It's the Chad Benson Show. Chad Benson Show. Independent thoughts, independent life. This is Chad Benson. As far as as far as uh, believing what they're putting out now, I hope it's true. Who knows? But I hope it's true. That was Trump yesterday talking about China. China. I hope it's true. China. Yeah. China. When this thing first started, I continued to say they're not telling us everything. They're not giving us real numbers. They're not telling us anything that we probably need to know. Oh, somebody said to me, you know, a couple weeks ago when I was saying that, are oh, you a racist? No, no, we're honest. Let me tell you about China. If this thing was that bad and the world would not know, they would have lit that place up in Wuhan and moved on. Tell you why. They don't care. At the end of the day, and we're not talking about the Chinese people, we're talking about the Chinese government, the commies, those people, the people that are authoritarian, whose main goal is to what? To rule the world. They have a plan, and that plan is to dominate everything. Period. Case closed. End of story. Now is our time to say screw it. I have a buddy who's an MP, member of parliament, it's kind of like a congressman, senator, said Everybody's applauding Trump for saying what needs to be said. We're too dependent on them. We love our cheap goods. We do. We love our cheap goods. Well, guess what? It's time we start looking elsewhere to manufacture stuff, whether it's here, right across the way, in Mexico, in Central America, and elsewhere. It's time to start looking at things in a much different way. Yeah, I don't believe a word that they're saying. And I didn't. When the numbers come out, it could be 10 times that. What I do know is they're starting to get back to some normalcy. And the rest of the world is struggling. If we had known about this a number of months earlier, it could have been contained to that one area in China where it started. And certainly uh, the world is paying a big price for what they did. Yeah. Well, that's not true. Yeah. You know what they're doing? They're sending respirators and everything they can to places like Italy and elsewhere. Why? Because uh, they're trying to curry favor. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to curry favor. Do I like the way that Trump acts at time? No. Do I understand? Yes. Do you think China cares about the well-being of the rest of the world? No. I do not. I do not think that. I think you're smart enough to realize, yeah, you're probably right. Even if 
they found a magical cure. What do you think would happen? China would figure out a way to make sure that everybody that in, in their country has it. That's great, fantastic. And then it may be a long time before eventually it got out to us so they could put themselves in another advantage. This has nothing to do with the Chinese people. If you think that, you're an idiot and a moron. This is about their government and the Communist Party and where they would love to go, which is dominate the world. They have made that apparent and everybody out there aware of what their goal is. So in some ways, yeah, Trump is right. The way he's handled things at times, no. But I understand that, right? I understand that. You think Italy understands that? Yes. Right? You think the rest of Europe, as they're bracing for this thing, to see exactly what it will or won't be? Because we don't know what it's eventually going to end up doing. But one thing we do know is it will potentially take us several months to several years to climb out of a hole financially, economically. And if you think that doesn't matter, it does if you're a small business owner or if you're a person that just got laid off. 2.5 million unemployment claims, highest ever, last week alone. This little gift that McConnell and everybody's going to roll out in the coming weeks is going to be little relief. It is not ongoing. It is not forever. So, yeah, we better figure this out sooner rather than later. And I think at some point in time in the next two weeks to a month, we're going to realize, all right, we're going to overcome this faster and we better get back to work. Because this isn't just about today. It's about the health of people and it's about the health of an economy and it's also about the health of a future that china would love to dominate i don't think they created in a lab anywhere and released it to the world i don't think any of that crap i'm not a conspiracy theorist i don't buy into any of that crap but what i do think is they played a game because think about the way that they've treated doctors and people who've tried to warn the world about this thing magically disappeared they died. They've shamed them. They've arrested them. So remember who you're dealing with. 323-538-2423. At Chad Benson Show is your Twitter. Feel free to tweet at me. You can text the program as well. Love hearing from every single one of you. Every once in a while, we just need to breathe. It's a prison sentence. It's a short prison sentence. And as they say, as the convicts say, you can do the time or the time can do you. And I figure you should do the time, meaning go out, build a tree house with your son and daughter, cook lasagna with your wife. Don't let the time do you. Don't end up with a face tattoo and a toilet filled with prison wine. You go out and use this little <laughs> snapshot in life to live your life. Adam Carolla, that's what I was saying. Have fun with it, right? That's what I say. You're at home, man. You're you're sitting around and 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 you know you're 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 overweight and you really have never thought about working out and you you're going to be on unemployment for a while and you're hoping this check helps out a little bit. You know what? Drop twenty thirty pounds. Get outside. Take up something new. Right. Learn something new. Listen to what the people are saying. Don't give up hope. And take advantage. Find a new hobby. Didn't know I liked the quilt. Didn't know I liked to whittle. Right? Didn't know I liked the game. Didn't know I li- Find something else. In your life, when has change really been bad big picture? You know, the girlfriend that dumped you, the boyfriend that dumped you, the boss that fired you. But when you look back after a couple of years, immediately it's bad. Like right now it's bad. In a month it might still be bad. But in two years, I think you look at these little changes in life is a good thing. That's the time you learn to play Stratego with your nine-year-old son. Whatever it is, philosophically, change is always good. Even negative change is good with time. Absolutely. Corolla is spot on there. It's That is so true, right? And especially in a time when you can be uncomfortable. Right. Because a lot of people now are, are sitting around and they've been laid off. And I'm here to tell you, take advantage of it. Well, how can I take advantage of it? Well, first and foremost, say to yourself. What industry was I in that 
I could be so easily displaced. What can I do in the future to make sure that that doesn't happen again? How can I better myself? I've been there, right? I was a broker and owned a company after 9-11. It's ugly. Paying people knowing you're not going to eat, sleep in my office for months because I had anywhere to go. want to make sure that people are taken care of. And I've turned from more business owners to doing everything possible to do all they can to make sure their employees are taken care of. And that's great. But you got to take advantage of this. It's, it, it, let's look at where, what can I do to A, help, and B, if this is the situation I'm in, it's not changing, right, at this moment in time. So what can I do to take advantage of this opportunity? What can I do to take advantage of this opportunity? Doesn't matter what it is. Teach yourself a new language. Go for a walk. See a bird. Do something. Learn a new hobby. And also, smile, laugh, and breathe. This is a time just to reflect, literally just some quiet time. It's like forced meditation for those of us without a yogi. Yeah, I don't have a yogi. I do not have a yogi. Not that I shouldn't have a yogi. Maybe we all should. People ask me, what are you doing? I'm working out. By the way, in between breaks here and stuff, I go for a walk, right? And I've also got armband things in here. And, you know, several times a day I'll, I'll do that, do some push-ups. And then in between all my shows and stuff, uh, if time permits where I don't have show meetings and other things as we go through this, I head straight over to the park. 30 minutes, I run around, kick a soccer ball. Feels so much better. It's just time to say to yourselves, what can we do? to take advantage of what's being placed in front of us. Because crying about it's not going to change. Getting angry about it's not going to change. Finding a happy place. First thing I do in the morning, I come in. I get in here extra early. Why? Because I want some positive stuff. So what I do, I go to YouTube. Find some stuff that makes me laugh. Right? Jimmy Carr, comedian, hilarious. Nate Bergazzi, comedian, hilarious. Or I'll watch some of Colin Cowherd, sports guy, from yesterday's show. Why? Takes my mind off stuff. I'd rather talk about Tom Brady at this moment in time. So these are things that we need to look to do. But you understand that with these freedoms come responsibility of doing all you can that they're asking you to do, but also realizing how am I going to be set up when this thing comes out the other side? What can I do? And that's what we need to be doing as well. Absolutely. We're all, the, the one thing that we all know, though, is we're all going through this together. It's not like you're the only one. And I think when we start to realize that, that, you know, you're not going to be homeless. Landlords, the government stepping in at this moment in time, especially if they're telling you not to go to work, you're not going to have to worry about those things. Making sure you're taking, your, uh, you know, taking care of yourself. Oh, you may have to make it up, but, you know, and the other things, and that's fine. But right now, you're living at this moment. So if this is what it's given you, find out what you can take from it. 323-538-2423, at Chad Benson Show is your Twitter. You can tweet at me. You can text the program as well. Love hearing from all of you. I do. Right? Smile. It's going to be good. It is. Remember. Jobs? Oh, Chad, there's no jobs. There's jobs. Walmart announced it will hire an additional 150,000 new workers through the end of May to work in their stores, their distribution centers. Its hourly full-time workers will get $300 cash bonuses. Its part-time employees will receive $150 bonuses because they are working through this crisis. Yeah, that's a helper, right? You say, all right, well, this is what I'm going to do because this is what needs to be done. What about Amazon? Jay Carney, former uh, White House press secretary. Tell us, just for anyone watching who wants one of these jobs, how they can apply and how quickly you're going to onboard them. They can apply. There are existing uh, methods and portals now to apply for jobs in all of our uh, fulfillment centers. As you know, we've been uh, hiring quite a lot uh, in general, and we're now opening 100,000 new uh, positions across the country. Yeah, Amazon, 100,000 jobs, right? 100,000 jobs that are opening right now, Walmart, grocery stores, where there is a situation where things are being taken, there's also an opportunity where there's going to be needs, and those needs need to be fulfilled. 
323-538-2423, at Chad Benson Show is your Twitter. Feel free to tweet at me, you can text the program as well. Right now, you're looking around, you probably got a ton of credit card debt, you're paying way too much on it. Stop that right now. Let's figure out how we can save you some money, get rid of all that stress out there. Credit card consolidation loan. It's easy to lower your interest rate, save with Lightstream, credit card consolidation loan. You can get a rate as low as 5.95% APR with auto pay. Every dollar will help in the coming weeks and months. And my friends at Lightstream are here to help. $5,000 to $100,000 loans, right? No fees whatsoever. You can even get your money as early as the same day you apply. It's simple and it's easy to apply. And just for going to this right here, what I'm going to give you, we're going to give you a special interest rate discount just for my listeners. Lightstream.com slash Benson. L-I-G-H-T-S-T-R-E-M.com slash Benson. I had a friend do it a couple weeks ago. She said it was easy. She had it right from her phone. Uh, she got what she needed in about 48 hours. It's a good time right now to get rid of a lot of those credit cards and and bring down that interest rate and save yourself because every dollar will help again in the coming weeks and months. Subject to credit approval rate includes 0.50% auto pay discount. Terms and conditions apply. Offer subject to change without notice. Visit lightstream.com slash Benson for more information. Chad Benson Show. Set Chad straight. Text the show, 323-538-2423. That's 323-538-CHAD. Someone has to do it. Might as well be you. The Chad Benson Show. The poll flips the approval rating for President Trump. 55% of Americans say they approve of how he's handled the pandemic. 43% disapprove. That is the opposite of a week ago when a majority, 54%, said the president wasn't handling it well. And nearly 80% of those surveyed say they are either very or somewhat worried about catching the virus. Yeah, Trump's approval rating at a time like this is going up. That's understandable, especially now that he's taking it far more seriously. Today he came out, talked about... How how, you know, Governor Newsom and Cuomo, basically lockdowns of the states, uh, non-essential workers, stay home. Uh, you know, students will be happy if you got student loans. 60-day moratorium at this moment in time on student loans. That's their, they're suggesting federal student loans, but you go to your loan provider. And, you know, a lot of the same today. This is going to be a daily thing, the updating and the briefing. Uh, we're not learning a ton. The big stuff's going to come individually in the states that you live in. That's the, that's that's just it, because Trump is allowing the states themselves to run everything. If if the state needs something. You call the federal government, they're there. Right. So Newsom, Cuomo, we're going lockdown, only essential workers, period, case closed. That's the way it's going to work. You don't have to worry at this moment in time about being evicted. Right. And, you know, car repo, all this kind of they're, they're telling everybody, let's just stay pat and stop this thing where we can. So that's great. That's great. And, and, and they're working on the vaccine. But remember, the more we talk about it, what we need to find is a treatment that will help us today, which will get us back on our feet, which eventually the vaccine will come. Treatment first, vaccine later. That is also important. Very much so. 323-538-2423. At Chad Benson Show is your Twitter. Feel free to tweet him at Stamps.com. Last thing you want to do in life is be out anywhere at this moment in time. That's where Stamps.com comes in. What are they going to do? They're going to make everything easier. Maybe you're sitting around going, this is the time to start a business. Yeah, it might be because I can fill, fulfill some of these needs. I can't let anybody else do that. Stamps.com is here to help bring all of the U.S. Postal Services right to your computer. Whether you're a small office, home business, whatever it is. 24-7, any letter, any package, any class of mail, anywhere, print, slap, hand it to your mail carrier, or put it in the mailbox, and away it goes. With Stamps.com, you get $0.05 cents off every first-class stamp and up to 40% off shipping rates. Stamps.com is truly a no-brainer. Right now, four-week trial, free postage, and a digital scale without any long-term commitment. What are you waiting for? Go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone. Right there at the top of the homepage, type in Chad. That's stamps.com. Enter Chad. It's been a hell of a crazy week. I'll tell you that right now. We all need to take a deep breath. We do. We all need to take a deep breath. See what happens over the weekend. The numbers are going to spike. But as I notice in the numbers are starting to spike, that number of how fatal and the mortality rate is starting to drop. That's the big number. We're going to get through this. We're going to do it together. Do what you need to do. Stay away from crowds. Get outside. Don't let this thing live in your brain rent-free, right? 
Find out what you can do to make your life a little bit easier. Find a little bit of fun. Smile a little bit. Have a good weekend. We'll do it again on Monday. I promise you that. Night, night, Jack. This is the Chad Benson Show.